Hi, this is Dr. Nisha Vishnu. Radiation therapy is the use of high energy X-ray beams to kill the tumors. The challenge is that tumor bearing areas are never isolated in watertight compartments. Tumors originate from and coexist with your normal organs. The basic philosophy of radiation therapy is to maximize the radiation dose to the tumor bearing areas and minimize as much as possible the dose and hence the side effects to the normal organs in the vicinity. Technologies from two-dimensional to rapid arc has evolved in this pursuit only. Earlier times, a cancer in say oral cavity was treated by projecting two X-ray beams from either side of the cheek. This damaged not only the tumor in the oral cavity but the entire areas around it. With advancement in imaging and planning, we have started sending beams from different sides of the treatment areas after shaping it into the size and shape of the tumor um, treatment areas as seen from the treatment angle and we call it the bird's eye view and in this way we are able to avoid the high dose in the nearby normal organs. This technique is known as three-dimensional conventional radiotherapy or more popularly 3D CRT. 3D because there is a three-dimensional imaging and confirmal because there, there is a beam shaping. Problem with this is that when we use shaping and blocking method, we cannot attain very irregular beam shapes. It's like asking a kid to paint an amoeba using blocks. How do we uh, make the drawing more beautiful? By replacing the blocks with a paintbrush. IMRT or intensity modulated radiotherapy is that paint brush wherein not only the beams are coming from six or seven different directions but each beam is divided into small small beamlets and each of these beamlets carry a different intensity. This intensity modulation makes sure that if there is an amoeba like tumor bearing area near to some very important structure we push only that which can be tolerated by the normal structure while not compromising the tumor control. So you see how IMRT is even more confirmable than 3D CRT. But does that mean that 3D CRT is to be completely thrown out of the window? No, of course. I still use 3D CRT very successfully in some of my breast cancer patients with uh, very less side effects to the heart and the lung. I even use a 2D beam setting for some palliative treatments now and then. So there is no fixed rule and it is best left to your treatment team to take the call after discussing with you. Please go through my next video wherein I talk about more advanced radiotherapy technique including IGRTV mat etc. Thank you.